right here. He was trying to do as much damage as he possibly could. Plowing through a fence, landing on top of two truck racks, and then dragging it all along with him. Surveillance video caught the wild ride at about midnight as an inmate behind the wheel of this fire engine then mows over a second fence before driving off. From this angle, you can see the scene scares off a deer. Then a few seconds later, the fire engine comes through off the curb and into the parking lot. He was probably in here 30 seconds at the most. Did a lot of damage in 30 seconds, so. Van Thompson owns Racket Truck Racks near Shingle Springs. It's the whole way. He and his son Travis woke up to some strange news this morning. You've got to be completely crazy to do something like that. Cal Fire says an inmate from Growlersburg Camp was here as a firefighter responding to a grass fire after illegal fireworks were reported in the area. Then the 31 year old inmate is accused of stealing a Cal Fire engine. A whole bunch of crashing noises for a few minutes as the guy ran into things. Bill Wild saw it unfold. He lives nearby and was concerned about the fire when he saw this fire engine crash into a ditch and the driver try to make a run for it. First, it's like evacuate the house and then I call the family and say there's a convict on the loose in the neighborhood, lock all your doors. It was a strange day for everyone involved. That inmate is in custody and now business owners here are surveying the damage. It was sitting here to be loaded to tomorrow morning to go to Oregon. The front end of his truck is crunched up and ripped open. His fencing is torn down and a lot of his product utility racks for pickup trucks are scratched up. He says he talked to Cal Fire. I asked him, well, what should I what should I do? And he says, well, I don't know. We've never had this situation before.